Well, today our adventure is looking for ghost towns, which are all around Nevada, but they're uh, especially in areas like this, which were uh, very uh, big into mining. So we are at our first ghost town of the day. This is Lane City, or what was Lane City. Uh, Lane City was established in 1859, and at one time uh, there were about 600 people uh, that lived here. Now you can just see that they had a post office, now you can just see what's left of it. We're going to drive up here a little bit more and see if we can, uh, uh, well, we, of course we won't find any ghosts, but uh, we'll see a little bit more about uh, uh, what's left of Lane City. Lane City uh, was originally called Mineral City and then it changed its name and it is amazing this town wasn't completely abandoned until 2014 so apparently there were some people that still lived here i'm not it's just it's incredible to me but apparently so this is one of the meeting houses here we're going to take a look i don't think there's anybody in there Huh. It's an Amazon Prime box in there, so uh, someone's been <laughs> around here. So that must have been the schoolhouse or the church. Yeah. In the distance. Yeah, you want to keep the church away from all the saloons, I would think. And there's the mine up there. Ah, yeah. And this was a copper mining town. A gecko, okay. Watch, watch out for any snakes, Tiny. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we don't expect to find any relics here because I'm sure over the many, many years, over the decades, this has been picked over, but kind of interesting just to look at it. Looks like this poor house had a had a fire. It's too bad. Oh, what? A fire. Yeah, they had a fire. Uh, too bad. And uh, look at there's a pool tab there. On there's the a pool tab. We haven't seen those, we haven't seen those for a while. here on these dirt roads and uh, looking for another uh, ghost town and uh, you know sometimes obviously there are no freeways that go to ghost towns you have to you have to figure them out let me show you where we are it's just it's really beautiful uh, you know in a mineral extraction sort of way I mean you see the several layers of the uh, mining operation from the open pit mine which is still operating and actually over here, oh, we can't see it right now, but there was a, uh, oh, yeah, we can. There's a huge dump truck over there that's dumping gravel and they're sorting through the, the ore, you know, for copper. And it really is beautiful up here. It's uh, pretty remote, so we're, we have our all wheel drive Subaru out back. So, hey, we don't care. We're ready for anything. Let's keep going. There he goes. What a fun job. 
running a dump truck. That's what I always wanted to do when I was a kid. Well, we're here at the remains of what we think was an old mining town. And uh, what we have here is just a huge debris field of cans and bottles. And we're, I mean, we're thinking this might have been the one of the saloons. Uh, we're not sure. Or whether maybe somebody just decided to bring all this crap up here, which I cannot imagine because I tell you, we are remote. We are heading down this dirt road and uh, we've gone as far as we can and it's run into a barbed wire fence. So now we're going to head back up here, uh, see if we can make sure we can get out of here, which I, of course I, we can. We have our trusty Subaru. Okay, see you shortly. Well, right now we are on US 50, which is called the loneliest road in America. Well, I think it was probably the loneliest road you know, maybe 50 years ago when they called it that, but it is, there are a lot of roads in Nevada that have a lot less traffic than this one. Look at that, here's two more cars. I mean, how lonely is that? I got at least one behind me and I see a truck up there. Uh, this is not lonely. If you had a problem out here, yeah, someone would help you out. So, so much now for the not so lonely road in America. Well, we're um, stopped off the side of the road. The uh, state troopers have called all the vehicles off the side of the road here on Highway 50 because we're waiting for some wide load to come down before we go further down the hill. So uh, we can't wait to see what that wide load is. Stay, stand by. All right, this is what uh, passes for excitement on uh, the loneliest road in America. There was the pilot car, so we're waiting for that oversized load. So I wonder what it is. Ah, okay, I thought maybe it would be half of a bridge or something, but no, it is a, I don't know what it is, some kind of a big piece of equipment. Here it comes. And there it goes. So now we're back on our way, back on the loneliest road. We just had lunch. Uh, we've been in this town before. It's just a cute little town. And so even some people here uh, live in Ely and drive over here, which is about, what, 72 mile yeah. drive, something like that every day. Anyway, it's a, it's a cute little town. Eighteen seventy nine. Over here. Yeah, Definitely. I just want to make sure oh. that I got you. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Yes, we're enjoying our our little stop off in Eureka, Nevada. Yes, we have found it, Eureka. Yes. All right. What were you pointing at? That building. Ah. Eighteen seventy nine. Ah. Oh, that must beautiful. Uh, Eureka is the county seat of Eureka County, and I would uh, bet you dollars to know us that that is the uh, courthouse. Yeah. yeah. Let's go check out let's, the Opera House. Let's go. Let's check out the Opera House. See uh, who's uh, singing today. 